not embarrassed by election commission's performance, says outgoing CAC. Government against price hike of fertilizers but may be forced to do so, says Agriculture Minister. Ukraine seeks meeting with Russia over border tensions within 48 hours. Assalamu alaikum, this is Jodhri Sama welcoming you all to Evening News. You have just heard the headlines, now let's move on to the details. Chief Election Commissioner C.C. K.M. Nurul Huda today said that they are not embarrassed by the Commission's performance over the last five years. He made the remark today, last day of his tenure, at a press conference at Election Commission office. They had tried their best, he said, when asked if their activities and operations would embarrass them after retiring. There will be no embarrassment as they didn't have shortcomings, he said. He, however, acknowledged that there had been failures such as electoral violence and killings alongside success. The CC said they regretted the inconveniences, saying disappointment of some political parties. He said they hadn't been able to gain their trust. <laughs> আমরা করার চেষ্টা করেছি সুতরাং সেখানে আমরা কোনো বিপরীতি নাই কোনো দুর্বলতা নাই এবং কোনো রকমের এখানে আমাদের কমতি নাই এগ্রিকালচার মিনিস্টার আব্দুর রাজ্জাক টুডে হিন্টেড এট প্রাইস হাইক অফ ফার্টিলাইজার্স ইন বাংলাদেশের লোকাল মার্কেট টু রিডিউস সাবসিডি অন দা আইটেম এড্রেসিং আ প্রেস ব্রিফিং এট দা সেক্রেটারিয়েট ইন ঢাকা দা মিনিস্টার প্রজেক্টেড দ্যাট দা अमाउंट অফ সাবসিডি উড বি টাকা 28000 ক্রোর ইন দা কারেন্ট ফিনান্সিয়াল ইয়ার if prices of fertilizers were not increased. He said that only Taka 9,500 crore had been kept in the current budget. The minister, however, said that the government was yet to take any decision in this regard. He said that they were against any price hike of fertilizers, but he admitted that price hike of fertilizers would increase production cost of agricultural producers. <laughs> বিশ্বব্যাপী সারের মূল্য অস্বাভাবিকভাবে পরিমাণে বৃদ্ধি পেয়েছে যা গত বছরের তুলনায় তিন গুণ তাছাড়া জ্বালানি তেলের মূল্য বৃদ্ধি পাওয়া জাহাজ ভাড়াও প্রায় দুই গুণ পরিমাণে বৃদ্ধি পেয়েছে অ্যাকচুয়ালি জাহাজের ভাড়া দুই গুণেরও বেশি বেড়েছে একটা কন্টেইনার যেখানে আঠারোশো দুই হাজার ডলার ছিল সেগুলো এখন চার হাজার ডলারেরও বেশি আমদানি ব্যয় বা প্রতি কেজি এটি খুবই গুরুত্বপূর্ণ বলে আমি মনে করি আপনাদের এবং সারা জাতিরই জানা দরকার ইউরিয়া বত্রিশ টাকা গত বছর আমদানি গত বছর দুই হাজার বিশ একুশে এটি এখন ছিয়ানব্বই টাকা The residential halls of the Shadal University of Science and Technology SAST reopened today after a 28-day closure. However, online classes will begin on Tuesday while persons in present classes will begin on February 22nd. The university authorities took the decision at a syndicate meeting earlier on Sunday evening. The authorities announced the closure of the halls on January 16 after a group of agitating students had confined Vice Chancellor Professor Fariduddin Ahmed during a demonstration. However, students of SAST on Saturday announced the withdrawal of their movement after 27 days. The top court today said the stay order of the High Court on the decision to scrap Zayed Khan's candidacy in the Bangladesh Film Artists Association election will remain halted. The order came when the Appellate Division disposed of the leave to petition appeal filed by actor Nipu Nakhtar. The six-member appeals bench led by Chief Justice Hassan Foy Siddiqui also upheld the status quo order imposed by the Chamber Judge on the post of General Secretary restraining both Zayed and his rival Nipun. Both parties said that the High Court has been asked to hear on the rule it issued on the matter earlier. After the High Court stayed the decision to scrub Zayed's candidacy, Nipun challenged the decision. Later, the Chamber Court issued the status quo order. <coughs> এবং ইত্য অবসরে ওনারা এটা নোট করেছেন যে হাইকোর্ট বিভাগ মূল যে রুল সেই রুল তাড়াতাড়ি শুনানির জন্য 
দৈনিক কার্যতালিকায় আগামীকাল সকাল থেকে রাখবেন আমি জায়েদকে বলবো যে এখানে কন্টেম্প ইত্যাদি ইত্যাদি প্রসেসিং না আনার জন্য আমার অন্য পক্ষের কাছে অনুরোধ থাকবে যে হাইকোর্ট অ্যাপ্লিকেশন যে অর্ডার দিয়েছেন সেটা স্যাংটিটি বজায় রাখার জন্য এবং এই যে উভয় পক্ষকে স্ট্যাটাস তো মেইনটেইন করতে বলা হয়েছে আপাতত সিটটাকে খালি রাখতে বলা হয়েছে সেটাকে যেন সুনিশ্চিত করা হয় a Bangladeshi national, AKM Sufiun Anam, is among the five United Nations staff who have been abducted in southern Yemen while returning to Aden after a field mission. Anam, a field security coordination officer of United Nations Department of Safety and Security in Aden, was abducted on Friday. He is a retired lieutenant colonel from Bangladesh Army, said Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momen. On Friday, five Yemen staff were abducted at the Abiyan Governorate of southern Yemen, reports Reuters, quoting Russell Geeky, a top UN official. Another official at the UN office in Aden told Reuters that four of those seized were Yemeni nationals. Now international, Ukraine has called for a meeting with Russia and other members of a key European security group over the escalating tensions on its border. Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said Russia had ignored formal requests to explain the build-up of troops. He said the next step was requesting a meeting within the next 48 hours for transparency about Russia's plans. Russia has denied any plans to invade Ukraine despite the build-up of some 100,000 soldiers on Ukraine's borders. But with the U.S. saying Moscow could begin with aerial bombardments at any time, more than a dozen nations have urged their citizens to leave Ukraine. Before ending, let's have a look on the headlines once again. Not embarrassed by Election Commission's performance, says outgoing CSC. Government against price hike of fertilizers, but may be forced to do so, says Agriculture Minister. Ukraine's sixth meeting with Russia over border tensions within 48 hours. And that's all from the newsroom for now. To know our videos of this bulletin, visit our website www.ntvbd.com. Besides, visit our YouTube and verified Facebook page for updates over NTV's all popular programs and bulletins. Our next bulletin from the Khabur will be aired in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Thank you for being with us. Have a good time.